Let the bubbling stop. Take a quick look. In this St. Mary's University lab, master teachers Debbie Goodwin and Giselle McDonald oversee an amazing transformation, turning San Antonio science teachers into metalheads. We are literally playing with liquid metal at 230 degrees. We are. We are, indeed. Tons of new lab and demo ideas, tons of new connections, making what they teach more relevant. Awesome. Good job. 60% lead and 40% tin. We're showing them, look, this is what's happening. This is how we're making materials that you touch, see, and use all the time. This is the American Society for Metals Materials Camp, where teachers learn simple experiments that help students grasp scientific concepts, like using a thin layer of zinc to turn the copper and pennies into brass. And when they intermingle, all of a sudden, you get the color change, boom, you have brass. Kids know about brass. They don't really know how it's made. Show the beautiful penny. We're teaching traditional chemistry using things kids can touch, things kids can make, things they can take home. There you go. Perfect. It's a class that feels like home for John J. High Science teacher Audrey Rubio. St. Mary's grad says she's thrilled to be back in her old lab learning new tricks, like how to reshape tin and make it cry. If you bend it, it makes like a crying sound. Because so, you bent it. Exactly. Yeah. So tin has feelings. But so. no heart. <laughs> yep, yep. You hear that crack? Yeah, that piece of tin just watched Steel Magnolias. For the instructors, the camp's most gratifying transformation happens not in a beaker or on a hot plate, but within the teachers themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, do we start our engines? You hear it. The excitement level is amazing. For a chemistry teacher, doing labs instead of teaching labs is a vacation. It's absolutely fantastic. It's kind of like iron sharpening iron is really what it is.